Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to George Mack Plays the Classics. Save a princess from the Castle of Dragon. Boy oh boy was I in for a terrible time with this one. It started out and I thought I may have stumbled upon something alright, but that was quickly pulled away from me. There's a terrible framing story about a dragon kidnapping a princess and it being up to you to save her. Levels are incredibly short in Castle of Dragon. You walk ahead a few steps, duck to avoid or block some flying enemies, then fight a character in one-on-one -on -one battle. Hack away with your sword by pressing the A button. Avoid their attacks the best you can. Jump over them if you must with the B button. As you play, you'll learn throwing knives in a mace that you can switch among with the start button. The mace seems to hit enemies multiple times if you get a good swing in, but it also randomly hurts you when you swing it. Some enemies drop neat power-ups like a sonic slash or lightning bolts, but they disappear too quickly. Hopefully you find some armor to give you an extra life bar. Killing certain enemies earns experience which extends your life bar. Making it to the castle has you choose from four levels to complete in order to find the relics you need to defeat the dragon. Boss battles are incredibly annoying, requiring you to figure out the exact pattern necessary. If you die, it's game over. Start from the beginning. This is not a good enough game to warrant that, so save states were used liberally. Button presses are often ignored because of the massive slowdown present. If you accidentally enter the final boss's chamber before you collect all four relics, it's an instant game over. After you collect the relics and figure out just to walk into your mirror image, you fight the evil Dark Larza. If you are off a hair from the hitbox, you get hit and can't defeat him. It took me over a dozen tries before I finally got a good run, killing him and saving the princess. Then I rewound, held up, left, start, select, A and B, and the princess lost her top. Dumb. When it comes to grading Castle of Dragon on NES, graphics get a 1.0. What would have been adequate graphics are hampered by disappearing sprites, projectiles that flicker mostly out of view, and slowdown that I expect from a shoot 'em up. Song gets a 1.5. I got irritated with the music and sound effects before all was said and done. Gameplay gets a 0.5. Controls are a true pain. The slowdown causes inputs to be missed, hitboxes make no sense. And the shield is worthless. Difficulty gets a 0.5. The awfulness of the gameplay makes many of these levels an absolute chore. No extra lives was an unforgivable design choice. Fun factor gets a zero. Terribly unfun. Overall, Castle of Dragon earns a 0.7, gets a D minus. What started promising ended as a complete and utter suck fest. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Please make sure to like this video. Let me know what you think of Castle of Dragon in the comments. And please subscribe to Head Drop Productions here on YouTube because we want you here for each and every video we release because it is your destiny.